transfer portal get kind of hectic when you when you first get in, like talking to all these different schools and trying to figure things out. But uh, for me, I kind of had my head on straight. I kind of knew exactly what I was looking for when I was getting in the portal. Uh, I kind of already kind of knew like what I wanted to get out of it and what my situation really was. So, so for me, Alabama was a no-brainer just based off the way they prepare guys for the next level. It was a no-brainer for me going with Coach Saban. It was a no-brainer. Did you ever have anybody contact you maybe before you hit the portal? Uh, no, nah, I didn't have anybody contact me before I kick out of the portal. It, it, T Rob is that guy, man. T Rob, one of the best to do it. Uh, hated to see him leave and go, and go over there with the dogs, but but he's one of the best to do it. Uh, he teaches you so much about just just the minute details of, of Coach Saban's system and, and the ways that he pick it up, and he kind of relates to some some of us a little different than some of the older coaches. As far as, far as just uh, like our generation is kind of different, and, and he's obviously a younger coach compared to a lot of the other guys, like even Coach Saban, who's in the room with us every day. He kind of relates to us better than Coach Saban. Uh, Coach Saban, the whole old school guy, he, it's his way. But uh, Coach T Rob comes in, and he, he's going to sit down with you and let you know, like, hey, hey this is Coach Saban, uh, this is the way he wanted it done. You can kind of see it better from this way. It's going to be the same way. You're going to think about it the same way. So that's kind of how it was with T Rob. He's he relates to us. Can you tell us about um, for the, yeah, um, Texas? A couple of uh, Alabama players transferred out to their Texas. Right. Say Vaughn, Amari uh, Nye Black, and Chris Rick, Black Lives. Can you let Texas fans kind of know about what you kind of thought about those dudes and kind of your scouting for all those guys? Right, uh, definitely get some dogs. So, so just just to be able to go to Alabama and go through the offseason program and, and, and be able to go through a season over there, you definitely get some dogs, man. Those guys, uh, those are my brothers for life. We went through a lot. We was able to overcome a lot of adversity. So, so those guys are battle tested and, and they go, they're gonna give it their all. What kind of receivers Isaiah Vaughn? Isaiah, he's <laughs> he's one of the best in the country. So, so he's gonna come to work every day. Uh, he's twitchy, fast. He's gonna he's gonna be open a lot. So. Jalen, what drills are you planning to do this week? I'm doing everything. everything. And what are you trying to prove the teams? Oh, uh, so so for me, it's just pro proving the teams that, that I'm a guy. How would you describe your style of play? Physical. Right. How surprised were you to Right, so that's extraordinary. I mean, he's he's much before his time. Uh, he's a guy that that probably generational. So uh, for him to come in, it's like his maturity level is, is through the roof. He, he's more mature than a lot, a lot of sophomores, juniors, probably seniors I've seen throughout my whole career. So uh, I mean, Caleb's the same thing. He's a dog, and, and, and he's mentally he, he's already prepared to be in the NFL. Playing like playing alongside talent like that, right? Everybody up. Yeah. Oh, it was very beneficial. So that's that's the whole process there. The process is about coming in, competing against the best in the country. You go to Alabama. That's what it's all about. So I mean, when you sign up for it, that's what you sign up for. You don't sign up to go in and I'm gonna be the day one starter. Not you going in to compete against all the guys that's already there. And those guys were the best in the country when they was coming out of high school and things of that nature. So um, I mean, that's that's what you're competing against, and that's what you sign up for. So that was that was that was a whole part of my process. I want to go in and go against the best guys in the country. Jack, cover Ohio State. So sorry, I have another Caleb Downs question. Right. But when he came in, what what impressed you right away about him? Uh, the way, so his preparation, the way, the way he took care of his body, uh, week in and week out, the, the way he went in and studied the playbook and make sure he knew what to do on Saturdays, and it was completely different from any freshman I ever seen. Really? Yeah. And, and what about his on-field performance? Obviously, he had a great year. But yeah. Right. What would you want to say about the kind of player he is on the field? Uh, he, he's definitely a, a twitchy player that that's going to kind of trigger on things before, uh, before a lot of guys even see it. So, so he, he's saying stuff. Before a lot of guys even see, he's able to come down in a run fit, pretty fast, so so he can cover. Not afraid of anything. As a freshman, that kind of blow you away. As a freshman, that definitely blew me away. True freshman. That's extraordinary.
Who are some of the guys in the NFL that you maybe watched and learned the most from? Uh, so I, I watch I watch Duran uh, Duran James. He's all over the field. He, he go from one side of the field all the way to the other side of the field in the blink of eye. He's making plays all over. Uh, guys like Mika, just the preparation he kind of brings to the game. His um, did the same thing at Louisiana, Alabama. His that's, that's, that's what he do. His preparation for the game and playmaking ability. Been able to play like be versatile at different positions. Have you had a chance to see with the Buccaneers this week? Uh, I believe so. Was I believe so. Informal or formal meeting? Uh, informal. And what they talk about, how'd that go with you? Uh, so, I mean, just kind of went through, like, defenses and was able to kind of, like, uh, kind of go through my background and things that they to talk about my season and things like that. What teams have you met with this week? Uh, so, I was, I was, I had, I went to East West Shrine and I was able to pretty much, I met with uh, pretty much every team. So, like, up here, it kind of was a piggyback off that. Uh, met, meet, meeting with a couple of teams, it was kind of piggyback, piggyback off that. And was able to just basically go through and go through defenses and kind of look at some couple fan plays, things like that. You have like a cop or a top couple of teams that you maybe liked more. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm versatile. I go, I go anywhere. Jalen, how would you say you're a different, uh, not just a player, but a, a person uh, from when you first got to Alabama? Uh, I definitely say. Preparation wise, so so there you got a target on your back pretty much every week. Uh, you got to come with your, your A game every week, or somebody's or you gonna get knocked down. That's just that's just the game. That's so the prep from a preparation standpoint. You got to prepare different from probably anywhere else, a lot of places in the country. So just from from me going there, it taught me how to prepare for the game, kind of like go through the week, what I need to do to get ready for the game on Saturday. What was it like preparing for?